Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. Today we have an important tutorial for newer Windows 10 and Windows 11 users who are facing boot configuration issues on their UEFI based Windows systems. Don't worry, in this video we will guide you through the process of fixing the boot configuration in Windows 11 UEFI. So let's get started. To begin, we will need a Windows installation media such as a Windows bootable USB drive or Microsoft Windows setup CD or DVD with Windows 11 setup file. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Ok, once you have a Windows installation media, insert the installation media into your computer's USB port. After that, boot from the disk or USB. Select language preference and click next. At the install now screen, click repair your computer. Click troubleshoot and click command prompt. Type bcd edit and press enter. Then you will see the bcd files that are currently configured with your operating system like path information, OS drive, identifier information, etc. Now type disk part and press enter. Type list disk and press enter. Now select your boot disk where the windows were installed. Here's my boot disk number is 0 and as you can see its partition style shows GPT. Type list vol and press enter. Now you will see the full list of volumes available on your PC. Here the volume number 4 is our USB drive. Now find the EFI volume from the list except your USB drive. This usually has FAT32 mentioned on the FS column. So here our EFI partition will be on volume 2. Now type cell vol your EFI volume number and press enter to select the EFI volume. Next type assign letter equals to your unique drive letter that you want to assign. Note, assigned drive letter should be a unique drive letter which has not already been used. Ok, as you can see the message, disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Again type list wall and press enter. To verify your E5 volume is successfully assigned with the specific drive letter or not. Now type exit and press enter to exit from the disk part. Type cd space forward slash t space your assigned drive letter colon backward slash efi backward slash microsoft backward slash boot backward slash and press enter to check the boot files under this path. If you want you can separately check each directory by following the screen instructions. As you can see, here's the secure boot executable file and also you should see your BCD files under this path. Now type your OS drive letter which is usually C, give a colon and press enter. To recreate the Windows BCD, first you will need to format your EFI partition. So type the command format space your assigned drive letter colon space forward slash fs colon fat32 and press enter. If it asks for confirmation then type oi and press enter to confirm. If it asks for set volume level then just press enter to leave it default. You can verify by typing your assigned drive letter colon and press enter and type dir and press enter to confirm. As you can see, our EFI volume is completely empty without volume level. To recreate the BCD using the BCD boot command, the command should be execute from OS drive. So type your OS drive letter which is usually C, give a colon and press enter. 
and type dir to confirm if it's your system drive. As you can see, here it is. If your OS drive letter is different, then check with another drive letter. Ok, now type the final command bcd boot space your os drive letter colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space your assigned drive letter colon space forward slash f space uefi or all and press enter. Ok, as you can see the message, the boot file successfully created. That's it, you have successfully fixed the boot configuration in Windows 11 UEFI using Windows installation media. Now type exit to exit from the command prompt. Now turn off your PC and remove your Windows bootable USB from your computer's USB port. After that, turn your PC back on and check if the boot issues have been solved. Ok, as you can see, the boot was successful without any interruption. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.